Hey guys, Tomorrow's Trans 4 here, back with a recent about Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Human Alliance, Bumblebee. Um, picked this up today, wasn't going to, but I thought, screw it, and I just grabbed him, because he looks kind of cool. Um, so here he is, my first Human Alliance figure. Um, don't usually buy Human Alliance figures, because I just think, you know, there's not really much point, but I thought I'd, I'd try and get some from the Dark of the Moon line, so here we are with my first Human Alliance. And this guy looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, you know, just really, really nice. I really like the stealth look. It's, like, it's just stealth bumblebee, but human alliance form. Um, so, you know, we have the Dark of the Moon logo, Transformers, mech tech, but I don't really see a mech tech weapon on him. Um, he, I, to my understanding, he is just a plain repaint of the original. Um, so I don't know why they've put mech tech human alliance on, because, you know, they haven't really been modded that much. Um, that's new. That sticker, I believe, is new. You know, human plus robot equals human with robot on hand. Genius. Um, yeah, we have a nice picture of Bumblebee, nice picture of Sam. Well, he's a dick. I don't really like Sam. I hate Sam, actually. Um, on the bottom here, we have a picture of Skids. Um, find on the back, a picture of Bumblebee in robot mode, which looks to be mistransformed. Here is the bio, the crappy UK bio. Um, that tiny little sentence there, it says, Under Bumblebee's guidance, Sam has grown into a capable warrior. Bullshit. Anyway, let's get Bumblebee out of his packaging and let's see how he is. And here is Human Rights Bumblebee out of the packaging and in his vehicle mode. Um, and I will say that I really, really, really like this figure. Uh, much more than I thought I would. Um, the colour scheme looks much better than the original, in my opinion. I just think, you know, black repaints always look awesome. Um, as for Sam, Sam's an okay little figure. He has some surprising articulation, actually. I didn't think this was going to be that articulate, but it does. Um, the head can rotate. Um, 360, um, his arms can rotate, and they can rotate here as well. Um, he's got a joint here, can bend at the hip, bend at the knee, and that is about it. And I think he's got some waist articulation, yeah he does. But um, Sam's okay, he's kind of detailed, um, you know, does kind of look like Shia LaBeouf. I don't know how my, my camera actually wants to show it you, but it does kind of look like Shia LaBeouf, like a complete noob. But, you know, there he is. There's Sam. And you can also take Sam and just put him inside Bumblebee. But it's really kind of fiddly to do. Um, but you can do it. And, you know, it's going to take me ages to get him in. You know, I hate putting humans into this. I mean, I've been playing with this guy for about an hour now. And I've noticed that Sam is extremely difficult to get in. I saw him. I'm not even going to put him in. You don't deserve to drive such an awesome looking car. But you know, you can shove him in and you know, you can shut the door properly. So, there he is. There's Bumblebee. I'm just going to leave Sam off to the side. Now, this figure is absolutely awesome. Um, nice paint apps. It says Camaro on the side. Really, really nice paint apps on the wheels. I love those paint apps. And that gunmetal grey looks awesome. And the black is fingerprint prone, as you can cl cl um, clearly see. These blue windows look really, really cool. I love the stripes that, um, that it's got going on. They're not really yellow. They're more of an orangey yellow, which looks really nice. Very, very nice um, Chevy symbol on there. Um, it says Camaro on the other side as well. On the back here, it's got an Autobot logo, and it says B, so that's kind of cool. Um, gold Chevy symbol, and the lights are painted, and so are the exhaust. And you can kind of see the feet sticking out there, but that's really not a problem. On the side, um, no obvious robot parts. You can kind of see the back of the head, but... That's really not a problem. Um, he has these missile um, things under here. It's kind of interesting because these missiles on the box are blue. Um, if you go back to the start of the video, you can see that these um, these missiles are blue on the box, but they are now just a boring grey. But never mind. But you know, just an awesome looking vehicle mode. Now to transform Bumblebee, what we're going to do? Um, it's kind of hard. Um, it's a little bit complicated for um, first timers like me. So. I'll probably end up getting it wrong somewhere, but anyway, first thing we're going to do is going to remove these missiles, just like that. Um, if you've got Sam inside, you're going to take him out, obviously. Um, then, what we're going to do is going to try and unpeg these pieces, and just flip out the doors. And this is kind of annoying. The doors don't like to flip out that easily. There we go. Open the doors. Just like that. And you can also see that inside the car, he does have some nice interior. Um, on this side, he has a steering wheel, so that's kind of cool. And he's got some kind of moulded, um, just kind of panels on the doors, so that's really kind of cool. And he's got seats, obviously. Um, anyway, you want to open the doors, 
I'm going to take these pieces, I'm going to open them out. He transforms just like the Battle Blade Bumblebee, Human Alliance Bumblebee, um, no, Battle Blade Bumblebee, and the Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. So, you know, if you've got a Deluxe Bumblebee, then you'll probably find this kind of easy. But um, some things are different, and getting back into vehicle mode, it's a little bit harder. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to come around here, unpeg this piece, and just kind of get the arm out. And it's kind of difficult. Lift this arm all the way up. Rotate it around, lift this piece up, and fold out the hand from down there. And we're going to take this piece, we're going to rotate it like that. And I like to kind of lift this up and leave that on there. I'm going to rotate the hand around like that and, you know, pose this thumb. Um, I really don't like the hands. They're just kind of, um, this just a flat hand. It's kind of annoying. Um, and the seat's there. You can sit Sam on there in a minute. Um, I will show that off later when we get into, into robot mode. This arm's a little bit different. Uh, what we're going to do is just going to do the same again on this side, but the transformation of the actual arm is a little bit different. I'm going to lift this up, like that, rotate it, like so, lift this up, and fold this around, like that. Then we're going to take his plasma cannon, and just try and peg it in. He does have a plasma cannon, um, as you can see, um, which is kind of cool, actually. I, I, I like it, but I would have preferred it if they'd just given him you know, two hands, and this as a removable piece, but they didn't, so, not really a problem, um, anyway, get these doors out of the way, uh, I'm going to take these pieces at the back here, I'm going to try and split them, split the back section, and it's really, really tapped together well, um, yeah, get that out, like so, take this, push it up, like that, push that up, Pull this up like that, then push this head up. And I really, really don't like the head. Um, it looks like kind of a Japanese manga, um, like a. He just looks stupid. He looks goofy. I don't like it. Um, yeah, no, he looks like an anime actually. Not a manga. What am I on about? But he does have a battle mask, so it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, once we've done that, we're gonna take this piece. We're going to fold it down like that, and this should peg in. You should hear a snap. Um, then that's the chest done, the torso. I'm just going to take these and rotate them up like that. And there's the torso done. Now for the legs. We're just going to grab these pieces. I'm going to try your hardest and pull them out like that. In fact, we're going to rotate this up. Rotate that up, pull it out, and then fold out the leg and flip out these little heel things and then we can just rotate it around here like so then we can just push that in and there's a leg and we're going to do the same again fold this out halfway lift this up fold that up like that rotate this around and flip that around and then just try and get him stood up that's always a plus And almost, I'll get out, I'll adjust my camera in a moment. There is Bumblebee in his robot mode. This robot mode just looks awesome. Um, it's very, very CGI accurate. Um, not quite as accurate as the deluxe because, you know, a few things have had to be changed just so the human can kind of interact with the, um, the figure. And I'm going to apologise beforehand. Um, this figure is kind of tall, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to show off. So I'm going to have to kind of show him off in sections. Um... Yeah. Anyway, these missiles can be stored in robot mode. Um, same places as they were in vehicle mode, um, but you know this is where they end up. Um, so you can store them there. And actually, the um, plasma cannon, you can plug one into there, and there it is. And it, it can also fire, but you know there's the trigger. And I've probably just lost that now. Oh god. Anyway, leave these off. He's kind of stupid. Um, but you know, overall, just really, really nice looking. You can actually flip this in. I'll just leave it like that. Um, just very, very nice looking. I really, really like it. Um, he has a battle mask, as I mentioned during the transformation. Um, he has the battle mask, which looks awesome. He has a nice Autobot symbol on the head, which is awesome. He has the Autobot logo and B on there as well. Really nice paint apps. He has some nice paint apps there. Um, this is kind of silvery. Um, and obviously, he's got all the vehicle mode paint apps. So a lot of the paint apps were used up in vehicle mode. Um, and the face has been painted very, very nicely, but I hate the bug-eyed look. Um, it really, really kind of annoys me. 
Um, it, it just it bugs me. No pun intended. Um, but you know there he is. Um, as for Sam, he does kind of interact with Boy in robot mode. Now what we can do is grab Boy's arm here. Um, and there's a little hole on the back of Sam, and you can kind of just kind of peg him in there. Sort of. There we go. Anyway, he pegs in there, then this can flip over his shoulders, and you can kind of lift his arms up. And it can kind of look like he's firing it. So, or it's, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's like, Sam, fire my guns for me. Well, Bumblebee wouldn't have said that, because he can't talk, but... You know, I really don't see why Bumblebee needed a, a seat for Sam to sit in, and fire a, a weapon for him. Um, it's kind of a dumb concept, because Bumblebee's a badass without Sam, doesn't need Sam. You know, Sam's the least badass thing about Transformers, but, um, you know, there he is. And that's not all Sam can do. Um, he can... Well, I'm not really going to show this off, because basically he does exactly the same as last time, but he just sits there and doesn't do anything on that arm. Um, but he does, down here, uh, underneath here, there's a little panel, I'm going to flip this up, I don't know how you can see it, flip that up, and there's little pegs on there, um, you can, probably can't see it very well, there's little pegs just down there, um, and you know, Sam has got holes in his feet, so he can stand on it, and it's going to be really, really awkward to do, because Sam is just a fiddly um, character, and again, there he is. Get in there. Yeah. Anyway, you can kind of stand in there, and there's a little missile thing up here, and that comes up, and Sam can hold it, um, kind of like this. Um, but it's really hard to get him to tab in, so that's the best we're going to get. Um, but you know that that's really what he does. That's it. Um, and he does kind of have this gun up here can flip up um, so he's got more weaponry overall I think Bumblebee is just awesome looking I really really like this figure um, I love the human rights line um, now because I, it's my first human rights figure so and this has definitely impressed me um, I am very pleased with it anyway um, that was my review. hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later also I'm going on vacation I won't be here for two weeks goodbye